Hello, this is Sorno25, and what we have before us is the core components of the uh, user-friendly 4-bit combination lock. It's just the lock itself without any of the extras. I posted a schematic of this a little bit ago, link in the description for my Planet Minecraft account. Please diamond if you like what you see. In this video, I will be showing you how to set it up from its um, safety state for easy uh, world edit, as well as how to operate it um, afterwards. Setting it up from its uh, world edit safe state, um, you have to note that there should be a proc there should be 21 half step bricks, uh, 83 red bricks, and 131 obsidian. You want to go in the order of the, ha the half red brick, red brick, and then obsidian replacing the half red brick with redstone dust, the red brick with redstone torches, and the obsidian with iron block finally with world edit. Video is generally here to um, also show where all the bricks and obsidian are so you don't have to go finding it yourself. Most of the red brick, red half bricks are at the keypads on either side, programming room and um, keypad room, and then there's one over by the enter button. Get rid of that. Oh wait, wrong command. A little annoying on the eyes. Okay, six more. And the final one should be over here, right in front of this repeater. Okay, next you want to start replacing the bricks with redstone torches. Please note the orientation of the torch, because there are some areas where it might be a little confusing on whether you're placing the torch on the wall or on the block itself. Six, seven, and if you um, if you're not sure if you missed any of them, just uh, use the distribute uh, di block distribution command again to find um, if you missed any. Most boring part is setting it up. I gotta tell you. And again, the reason that the bricks are here instead of torches in the first place is world edit, pasting a schematic in, um, world editing anything with extended pistons is, is uh, I've, I don't have a good experience with it, so this is why I do this. Can, it can, it, it, with a lot of extended pistons, it can get annoying, but it's worth it in the end if you, if you, if it works out with the instant logic that you're using. It's so fast. Probably boring just watching me place replace bricks with torches. Almost done here, I think. Oh, I didn't do these. Oops. I really hate how it plays a torch on a block with its powered and it just pulses slightly messing up anything that's in the output. 
Doesn't happen all the time, but there's still that chance. Make sure, just making sure here that I got all the bricks. I do not see them. Okay, yeah, we got all of them. Okay, final command you want to do. Replace all the obsidian with iron blocks. Should be 131. Okay, set up is complete. Now, um, right at an end state, you can't really enter a combination until you program it. Uh, first, you have to program a combination. We come to the programming room here. Um, this lever controls the on-off switch for the programming. When it's up, it locks down all the controls in here, so there's no accidental um, editing of the combination. This clear button obviously clears the currently saved combination. Well, a keypad ranging from 1 to 0. Um, you can have any combination ranging from uh, one digit to five digits lo in length, as lo along with um, using the same number any number of times. So as an example, um, I could have the combination one, and then that's it. Or I could have one, two, one, 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 and it would still work. This display over here indicates the length of the currently saved combination, so you know your place. And I'm going to leave it at 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. I'm unflip this lever. This room over here is where the display is for the combination. Flip this lever. Keep it down if you want to have it continuously auto-refreshing. But if you only want it to refresh once, then... Oh. Sorry, my bad. I forgot one crucial element in um, setup. You must have a minecart here, because the auto-refresh uses a... Um, minecart detector rail system. Sorry about that. Okay, now it'll work. Keeping it down will again auto refresh constantly while um, flipping it down and up will um, again I also forgot one crucial step. I'm sorry about this. In order to um, start programming, you have to clear the combination once because um, not only does it uh, clear the combination, it also resets the sequencer and sets it by def uh, on the first position, so you're able to program in the first place. Other otherwise, it's not going to save initially. Let's get it back to one, two, one, one, one. Okay. Probably nothing. I don't think it's anything. What the? Oh! I forgot. I left the lever down. Yeah. It'll do that. There we go. The auto refresher kicked in and it is displayed 12111. And as you can see, it's still auto refreshing. I don't want to do that anymore. Limit the lag. Okay, now that this combination is programmed, let's move on to the keypad room. The enter button is over here. What, when you press the enter button, it checks if the combination is correct. If it's correct, it'll open the door. If it's incorrect, then uh, it'll toggle a failed try on the counter over here. 
three failed tries and it locks down the keypad, lo making it unable to uh, enter any new combinations. Safe reset um, is just a safe reset. It's self-explanatory. It's like the backspace button. It will do what the enter but button does in resetting the uh, the lock, the base, the um, entered uh, the entered combination, but it will not do the check, see if it's correct or not. So if it's correct and you hit safe reset, it won't open the door. If it's incorrect, it won't toggle a failed try. So there's no risk in hitting safe reset if you know you messed up or anything. Again, a keypad ranging from 1 to 0. And the failed try counter, along with a key entry display. Similar to the length entered display, it works the same way, except you can consider this as the little dots in the password field as you're entering in a password to get on to like a, like a forms or something. Okay, now um, I'm going to enter in the correct combination here. Oh, again. Uh, oh, again. Um, you need to. Uh, uh oh. What's this? Ah, yes. <clears throat> I also forgot one. Uh, more important element with this lever here if it's down and um, if it's down and you're in the editing process it also locks down the controls in the keypad room my voice is starting to get a little hoarse so I'm gonna get a drink of water here ah, that's better okay um, again you want to use the safe reset to um, set the Sequencer to default to the default position, and then let's and then enter the combination one, two, one, one, one. Hit enter. Door opens. You just walk through. Set to an auto close timer right here. Um, that can be easily modified if you want to stay open longer. I've had one of my friends say that it closes too fast and it couldn't get through. But that's just them. I'm able to get through just fine. Um, to show you that it is indeed a combination lock, I will enter in random combination here. Hit enter. Show you the failed try. And just spamming the enter button will just keep toggling the failed try. And it is three three toggles. And notice how I, you don't hear any piston, more pistons in the background. So that means you are now locked out. Currently, there is no set, w no way to re reset the um, failed try counter other than placing a torch back here on the reset band right here. I will add that in the um, extras. You can probably figure out a way to have a button somewhere if you ever use this. Okay, and that's pretty much it. The way that the um, core redstone the, just the basic elements works. The, this is the this would be the entrance to the programming room. That would be your most secure location. Probably some like admins only if you if you want to use it for a server vault or something. And this would probably be you probably uh, yeah it's self-explanatory how you would use it to make a vault for yourself or anything like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So um, check out my Planet Minecraft account. Check out some of my other th uh, some some of my other um, other redstone builds on link in the description to my Planet Minecraft again uh, account. Again, diamond if you like what you see, and I hope you enjoy the user-friendly 4-bit combination lock.